Good morning. Hey, it's Lisa Mason Mentor here this morning, and I just want to uh, share with you a post that I wrote about compartmentalization in business. This is really, really, really important, and it's really going to be helping you to understand how to really grow your business um, so that when you get hit by life's curveballs and things don't work out as you plan, you can actually still produce and get the things done that need to be done. I've been struggling with some issues because about three and a half weeks ago, my marriage just came to an abrupt halt. And so I needed to return uh, back to my hometown of St. Louis just to kind of heal and get my head together. But while I was doing this, you know, it caused a lot of anxiety and a lot of different emotions were welling up. And so I was not as focused on my business as I could have been, as you can imagine. I really did try working from my iPhone and my tablet, and I was somewhat productive, but it just wasn't giving me um, the full experience that I, I needed to be able to work my business like I normally normally do. So during this time, I actually ran into an old friend um, who was able to really compartmentalize. When he was working on one thing, it was that one thing only. I mean, even our conversation, it, I noticed that there wasn't a lot of shifting in our conversation. We talked about usually one thing at a time, uh, and you know, which may not be a great conversationalist, but it taught me something. Um, he was very, very, very focused on what he was doing at that time. Now, I asked him, you know, how do you how do you compartmentalize like that? Because that's just crazy. And he actually had no idea what I was talking about. And I just figured for him, it's just a part of his makeup. But for me, being a Gemini, it definitely is not something that I do on a regular basis. I have to have planners, apps, tools in place, you know, things I have to be able to see and touch in order to reach my goals. So yesterday I got on Google and I actually did a little research on how to compart on how to compartmentalize and detach from the things in my life that are troubling me so that I could really get focused and meet and achieve my goals quickly. So I came across this article written by Ryan Blair, one of the founders of Vasalis. I'm sure you've heard of him. In his article, he wrote this article called Five Steps of Compartmentalization. Okay, the secret behind successful entrepreneurs. And he gave five steps on how to compartmentalize. Okay, number one, compartmentalize it. Isolate the issue from all the other challenges you are dealing with. Apply extreme focus on each compartment, but only for a short period of time. Number three, move forward in incremental steps. And once you see progress, four, close the compartment and open the next one. Five, say no to things that don't deserve a compartment. That is really, really helpful. But like I said, I need to see things that I can see and touch. I'm not always great at visualizing, okay? Um, so I actually, you know, been thinking about it all night long, all you know, all day yesterday, all night long, actually a couple, couple of days. And so last night in a dream, God instructed me to make a list of all the priorities before me that I'm struggling with and then to place them on post-it notes and put them in a sealed baggie. As I work each priority or task, out comes the corresponding post-it note where I place it prominently while I'm working. And then when completed, I place it back in the back of the post-its to be worked again tomorrow or until that task is completed. Now, I know that sounds very, very simple and primitive and all of that, but it's actually working for me because I've actually got this post done today. So while it's really kind of simple, it's perfect for me right now. So because not all of us are born with organized thought, also known as compartmentalization. Life is going to hit you with some curveballs once in a while. Knowing how to detach and still get the work done without stalling out is going to be critical to the success of the entrepreneur. Now, I'm completely back on track after learning this very important skill set that, that I can now, I'm sorry, I have a little cold this morning, that I can now always rely on when life gets insane so hey let's roll if you've got something going on you know hey compartmentalize it figure out how to get things done don't let your um the drama of your life those things that are happening outside of you um you know throw you off your game we all deserve to be successful and deserve to be happy and and run our businesses doing the very best that we can if you'd like to know more about me or check out this blog post 
go to asklisamentor.com or you can just click that link underneath this video. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.